What's going on, everybody? It's How To Tuesday. We are continuing on with the knot wars, the knot battles that we've been having. And I appreciate the response from all of you um, on the text line. Nine, or it's actually area code 305-930-7346. That is the way that you get in touch with me. You can also email podcast at saltwaterexperience.com. And that is where we got the idea for last week's and this week's podcast on the knots. And the the subject is improvements, right? You'll have the improved clinch over the clinch. You'll have the knots that we're going to try today the Al- Albright knot versus the Alberto knot. They're almost the same, but there are slight differences that, in this case, my friend Alberto knee, he wrapped up first and then back, kind of like a bimini, for the, uh, where the Albright knot just wraps down towards the, down towards the, the um, connection. Okay, So it's double the wraps. And we're going to see if it makes a difference in the strength. We're going to use Daiwa J Braid 20 pound test today. And we're going to tie that to Daiwa fluorocarbon 50 pound test. So 20 pound to 50 pound. This is a connection that a lot of people use. That would be the braid to fluorocarbon connection. A lot of people like the Albright knot. Some people much prefer the Alberto knot. And we are going to decide, is the Alberto knot stronger than the Albright knot, or is the Albright knot stronger than the Alberto knot? And I'm going to find out right now. i got both of them tied, got some gloves on, and we have our next tech force tester, which has been the consistent scale we have tested all of this on. And this is 20 pound to 50 pound, so we should see it break pretty heavy. This is the Al- this is the Alberto knot, and that one broke at seventeen point eight four pounds on twenty pound line to fifty pound. We will go with the Albright knot next. Reset this scale, the same kind of deal. Kind of surprising to me that that one broke where it did, but we'll see here what this one does. Albright knot. Pow, 15.98. 15.98 on the Albright. Do the improvements make a difference? Last week, I said sometimes. This week, it definitely made a difference. Now, these knots probably deserve more testing. You should probably tie three, four, five of these. But I just wanted to do a quick test to see if an improvement would make a difference. Does wrapping it up and then wrapping back over, like Alberto Nee says, make a difference over the Albright knot? In this case, it absolutely did. It was several pounds stronger, so I would definitely recommend that knot over just the Albright knot. Um, But, you know, always you want to test these things out on your own and test it out with the materials that you're using. For example, a lot of people tie an Albright knot to solid wire. So before you go replacing the Albright knot with the Alberto knot, test it with a scale, test it with the type of wire and the type of connection that you're using, and make sure, because that is what this whole series is about, controlling the controllable. Controllable factors in fishing are rare, and they are the things that we can control and get better at and make better choices. Knots are one of the main ones where if we test the knots at home, we know that this is the strongest connection. I tied this six times. It tested six times better than this other knot. Now this is my knot. This is the one I'm going to use until I find a better one. Always be tinkering, always be playing, always be testing your stuff so that you are the most confident with your rig and you are tying the best knots that you know how to. Um, Alberto knot wins this week. If you've got a suggestion for knots or a question like this one was, does improving a knot make a difference in the strength? That's absolutely what we've tested this week and last week. And, uh, for the most part, uh, I believe that it does depending on the knot. So the Alberto knot wins. Good job, Alberto knee. And, uh, we'll see you at ICAST 
You can text 305-930-7346 with suggestions or drop an email to podcast at saltwaterexperience.com. That's it for How To Tuesday this week. We'll see you next week. 